Tu secreto está bien conmigo. Mia culpa, mia culpa, mia máxima culpa. Shortly after my conversion, I needed a spiritual detox, so I would only listen to Catholic programming. And the programs that stood out to me the most then, and still have a lasting impact on my soul today, were about the lives of the saints. Hello, family, and welcome. We're Bob and Penny Lord. There was this great couple, Bob and Penny Lord, and they would lead pilgrimages to holy sites, and while they were on pilgrimage, they would make these documentaries about the lives of the saints and apparitions. Our Lord Jesus has given us a very special saint to share with you today. Not only did those videos inspire me, but they introduced me to living souls that could help me in this spiritual battle. So what they did for me, I wanna do for you. Well, let's go on pilgrimage. Before we arrive in Portugal, let's answer the question, what is an apparition and why is it important? An apparition is when heaven intervenes in human events. They don't add anything to Revelation, but what it does is it puts a hyper focus on one aspect of Revelation God finds important. So for example, during the Protestant Reformation, Protestants reject Mary as the mother of God. What does heaven do? Around the same time, the Virgin Mary appears to the people in Mexico, and she reveals herself as Our Lady of Guadalupe, and she says to Juan Diego, am I not here? who am your mother, do I not wrap you in my folds? So Mary re-emphasizes the fact that she is our mother, and like in the book of Revelation, she's clothed with the sun with the moon under her feet. In modern times, we're struggling with relativism. Some theologians say that all people go to heaven. What does Our Lady of Fatima do? She intervenes in human history and says, no, many souls go to hell because there's nobody to pray and to do penance. You must pray the rosary every single day. So at an apparition, we have heaven enlightening us and redirecting us to what's most important because we've lost sight of it. At every major church approved apparition, the church goes in and says, this really happened. This is worthy of belief. So it makes no sense to me why I would ignore that. If God goes out of his way to say, hey, focus on this, and the church says, this really happened, it's prudent to focus on that. There's a great saying in theology, a grace remembered is a grace renewed. You can go to these holy sites and renew the grace of that original apparition. Our Lady has a sense of her presence there that people experience and are nourished by. The Saints are like the MVPs of Christianity, and one of our best players, one of our heavy hitters, is Saint Anthony of Padua. But most people don't realize he's not from Padua. He's actually from Lisbon, or Lisboa, as the natives say. There's a church there over the site of his birth. John Paul II famously visited there. You can visit there. His relics are there. You can pray with those relics. In the book of Revelation, it says that the prayers of the saints go up to God like incense. But not just the prayers of the saints are important, the lives of the saints are very important. When we look at the life of a saint, we see the life of a man fully alive. There are best evangelists. Let's take, for example, the life of Saint Anthony of Lisbon. When he was a young man, he was inspired by Franciscan missionaries who came. They went off to Morocco. They brought their bodies back in body bags and seeing them give their life for the faith inspired Anthony. He said, I also want to be a missionary. So he went off to Morocco. It wasn't the will of God that St. Anthony became a martyr. Instead, he got very sick, so they sent him back. On his way back from Morocco, the winds of God changed the direction of the ship and he landed in Italy where he was able to meet up with St. Francis. The lives of the saints encourage us and strengthen us to go in all powerful with the power of God. There's a great church in Lisbon called St. Dominic's Catholic Church. There's an incredible relic there, the relics of St. Jacinta Marto from Fatima. The veil that she wore during the apparition of the sun is there. Also, the rosary that she prayed with is there. 
Take a look at that rosary. It has all of the mysteries of the rosary. Jacinta was one who prayed the entire rosary, all of the mysteries, every day. Most people don't know this, but Lisbon is also home to a hidden gem concerning the life of little Jacinta. She died at Don Stefania, a children's hospital in Lisbon. Shortly after the famous apparitions, the Virgin Mary appeared to Jacinta and asked her, do you still want to save sinners? If so, then you will soon enter the hospital and you'll have much to suffer. For a time, your mother will be with you, but then you'll die alone. Jacinta consented to suffer everything for the conversion of sinners and to make reparation to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Just before her death, Jacinta reported that the Virgin Mary visited her in the hospital and told her that she was going to die soon. And from that moment on, she had no more pain. The hospital is active and it isn't really a tourist destination, but groups do have mass in their chapel. She died on the second floor and there is a plaque there commemorating her death. When we look at her life, we should not be intimidated, but we should be encouraged. If a seven-year-old girl can pray the rosary faithfully, if a seven-year-old girl can offer sacrifices for the conversion of sinners, I too can do it. We should be encouraged. The saints are alive, they're real people, and they can help us in our spiritual battles. Call upon the saints. In a later video, I'm gonna teach you how to pray with your saint, to have a sense of the presence of your saint. When you have an attraction to the saint, it isn't you who's attracted to the saint. Really what's happening is they are calling you. They're calling you to share in their charisms. They're calling you to share in their spiritual mission. They're calling you to grow closer to Christ within and through a relationship with them. And God wills to work through intermediaries. Finally, let's say something about holy sites. It's very important in the life of a Christian to try, if possible, to visit holy sites. Let's be real. Pilgrimages are expensive and not everybody can afford to go on one, but I want to encourage you to make a local pilgrimage. These two can be incredibly grace-filled. So for example, February 11th is the Feast of Our Lady of Lourdes. You can form an intention and make a trip to a local Lourdes grotto or a chapel dedicated in her honor. I promise you, this is effective. Feast days are significant and God and his saints honor our good intentions. A grace remembered is a grace renewed. Pilgrimages are important and I hope to share more with you. If you want more inspirational Catholic videos and lives of the saints, hit subscribe for more content. God bless you, God love you, and we will see you very soon.